Hi everybody and welcome back to IBEX Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a 30 minute summit walk for you. I hope you guys are ready to get sweaty. If you miss any speed or incline changes, because there will be both, don't worry. I want you to look over onto this side of your screen. We'll have all of that displayed for you to see over here. And then if you look onto the opposite side of your screen, you're gonna see this nice long progression bar and that's gonna show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. So if you're ready to get sweaty, make sure you have a water bottle and a towel handy. Let's look down at that tread and get started in three two and one here we go here we go so we start two five three five two five three five we're here for a minute okay so this one walking we're walking the whole entire time and for anybody who thinks walking isn't challenging I highly suggest you try this workout all right so we're here for the warm up, two, five, three, five. We got about another 40 seconds and we're gonna go right onto an incline. Now, this is a summit walk. So we're walking up a hill and we're walking down the hill. Every single minute, we're increasing our incline. The good news is once we get to our actual workout, once we get out of the warm up, your pace can stay the same. You don't have to change your walking pace, but we're gonna go all the way up. We're maxing out our treads today on incline and then taking it all the way down. So if you get lost, just remember we're queuing in every single minute. We only have one two minute piece and we're gonna hit that right here, two, five, three, five. So take it up. We're just walking it out, okay? And you're gonna give me a two on the incline. So two right here. We're just kind of testing everything out. You're just testing out the incline, making sure your core is activated. And you're just gonna pump the arms. So two minutes here, then we'll take it to a flat road and then we go right into the workout. So every minute we increase our incline till we get to the top of the mountain, we take it back down. That's it. But in the moment now, we're like, okay, it's not so bad. Yo, we only hit 11 and 12 on the incline. You're gonna be like, oh God, what did that do? I love the walking workouts. I love them, because I always say this, I always forget about walking, because we run so much and you're looking for the intense workouts that you forget that you can just walk. It's like less stress on my brain, you know? And if you're new to working out, hey, welcome to the most exciting workout. 30 minutes, the best 30 minutes. So just keep working here. We're gonna take the incline down in another minute. You go two, five, four, oh. So now you can start going into that pace that you want to hold for the rest of the workout. You can increase and decrease, right? As you go up the hill, it's gonna be a little bit harder to hold your pace. So if we start off faster, maybe you can go a little bit slower as you start increasing your incline. You don't have to. Easiest thing to do would just be keep the pace the same and not worry about it, right? You're just kind of like out of sight, out of mind. If it's hard, you just get through it. All right, 20 seconds. We take it off flat road. Good. <sighs> Inhale all that good air. Exhale, exhale. <laughs> exhale all the old stuff. Come on, 10 seconds. Everybody smile, right? I don't know what to do with my hands today, clearly. Here we go. Just keep pumping it out. Three, two, one, take it to that flat road. Okay, now from here, it's two, five, four, oh. Right, so pick the pace that you want, okay? Two, five, four, oh is the pace from now until the end of the workout, okay? So, there's a lot of wiggle room. Two, five, it's pretty slow. Four, oh is gonna be a fast walk. Right? For some of you, it might turn into like a shuffle. You might even need to start kind of pushing over into the run. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. You can take it down a little bit. All right, getting ready. It's nice and simple because you just, every minute, click, click, click. Squeezing those glutes. So we're already four minutes into it and it's only a 30 minute workout. We're gonna take it up to a one on the incline and the next 10. And the next eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one on the incline. Good, so if you're new to treads, your walking form is not the same as your running form, right? When you're walking, you roll heel to toe. And we really try hard to never touch the handlebars. We're using our arm swings and our core to keep us moving. We're not cheating. 
holding onto the handlebars, leaning back, just letting the legs paddle out. No, pump the arms, keep it tight, right? You got this here. One minute at a time, you're already 30 seconds into the first one. Doesn't have to get faster, right? Now think about squeezing your glutes as you drag that heel in, pull the leg back, squeeze and activate those glutes. In 10 seconds, you take it up to a two on an incline. Here we go, in six, in five, four, three, two, let's go. Walking like this, mentally tough because you, you can feel it, right? You can feel it as it like, the, hill, the hills get steeper and you know, you're like, okay, I'm gonna have another one, I'm gonna have another one. And you're constantly just thinking about the incline. Just think about how fun it is, right? Just walking up a beautiful mountainside. When you get to the top, just imagine what the view is gonna be. It could be anything you want, right? It could be a land of Pinot Noir or whatever. Whatever, just envision whatever you wanna see at the top of the hill. You're gonna get there, guys. 30 seconds, and guess what? We take it up again. It's gonna go fast, right? You're already almost six minutes into the whole entire workout. It's only 30 minutes. What? 10 seconds, we take it up to a three, all right. So you start feeling the hills around incline number four, okay? And you take it on. So take it to a three, three, two, one. All right. You're gonna feel tall in a little bit. Your head's gonna be up to the ceiling. Anybody got low ceilings in their basement if your tread's in there? You're gonna have to start digging the neck down a little bit. All right, but like, like I said, around incline number four, like after the next one, we're out of the easy zone. Then you feel it, right? We go into level two. Everything's activated. 30 seconds. Just keep working. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good. I love walking because you do feel it in your glutes, man. Who needs to work out your booty when you can just walk it out? 15 seconds. We go four on the incline. In eight. In six. In five. Four. Three. Two, give me four. All right. As the incline comes higher, right? It's testing our will to touch the handlebars. Don't do it. Remove the handlebars from your tread, people. <laughs> Don't do that. There's safety precautions. You know how many times I almost eat it? I was at the gym yesterday running. Just tripped on the treadmill. Stripped over my own foot. Caught myself. And then I did like one of these like... Did anybody see me? They did. Just played it off like... Totally meant to fall into my treadmill. Spill my water everywhere. <laughs> you know, it happens. You just roll with it. All right. 15 seconds. We take it up to a five. Here we go. This is it now. No more Mrs. Nice treadmill. No more Mrs. Nice hills. We go up in four, three, two, five on that incline squeeze, right? You can automatically feel the core, right? It's starting to activate more. It tightens up as the incline gets higher. Because walking and running, man, it's not just a lower body exercise, it's full body. You have to swing your arms, right? You're using your back, you're using your core. You're using everything. So just keep walking. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stand up nice and tall, I can feel myself starting to hunch over. It is Halloween season, but no hunchbacks here. All right, set up tall. We get ready to go to the level six. We're halfway to the top, guys. Halfway. You got it. Halfway to the top in eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, give me a six. All right. Heels getting larger. Let's walk it out. Remember what I said in the beginning. So as the incline gets steeper, right? <clears throat> the pace feels more challenging. So if you are new and you are really stressed, take down your pace just a little bit. 
But hold what you got if you can, right? It's just a moment in time. After this one, we're a third of the way through, okay? You only have 20 minutes left. <clears throat> All we have to do is get to the top of that hill and then take it right back down. Whew. We're almost to the top, okay? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You're like, that's not. We're beyond the halfway mark. So we're almost there. We take it to that seven in six, five, four, three, two. Come on, pick it up. Seven on the incline. Still at the two, five, four, oh. Here we go, baby. Sweaty now. <laughs> it's like a lot of, it's a lot of work. People don't realize it. This is it for me, man. Like if I wanted to, like, I wasn't a, a worker outer. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't, I didn't learn English, obviously. If I wasn't like an avid gym goer, right? This is where I would start. Honestly, when I used to be a bodybuilder, I used to do competitive bodybuilding, I didn't run at all. All I ever did for cardio was walk. And I, we sweaty. Well, for 45 minutes, just keep going. But this, I never tested it, like change it up with the hills or anything. So this is nice. This is just tougher, and I like tough. You're gonna learn to like tough if you don't like it. All right, you ready? Eight on that incline, three, two, pick it up. These minutes are going by fast, right? Here we are, the danger zone, right? Hamstrings on fire. Oh yeah, baby. Don't stop. The next four minutes, you gotta work it, right? Keep it going, keep it going. Nine, 10, 11, 12. We start taking it back down. Gets a little bit easier. Before we get there, we prove to ourselves here that we can get to the top of this mountain. We got it. Push through those legs, right? See, I told you if anybody said walking is easy, they needed to be here, because this, this is easy. <laughs> we take it up. Two and nine. Right here, pick it up. Woo, baby. And just keep walking like a robot. Squeeze the core. Pump the arms. Woo. 10, 11, 12. To the top. Three more minutes. We're done at the top. You ready to see that view? I don't know what mine looks like. Hmm, what does mine look like? My top of my hill. What's my favorite food? Oh, pretzels. God, I have the wackest favorite food. I can't even buy them in my house. I won't eat any other food. Just eat a bag of pretzels. Pretzels and wine, obviously. They go hand in hand. You ready to take it up? 10 on the incline, come on, in eight, six, five, four, three, two. Hit that 10. Two more after this. You got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Calves, who needs calves? Nah. I don't even like them. I don't want, I never wanted any. I'm burning them <laughs> right off right now. Fight the urge to touch the handlebars. Come on team, you got this. Squeeze those glutes. You ready? Last two coming up. Last two. Keep breathing here. Keep working. 20 seconds. What do you want? How do you get it? Right? You just keep going for it. Keep working at it and you don't quit. 10 seconds, 11 on that incline. In eight, six, five, four, three, two. Imagine if I accidentally hit 11 on the quick speed and I'm at 11 on the incline. I'll just roll right off the tread. All right, my, on the tread, they're like right underneath each other. So if you're not paying attention, you can hit the wrong 11. There'll be no more Rachel. 
I'm gonna go splat on the wall. You guys. Yeah, I'm breathy. Yeah, I'm out of breath. You ever been hiking? You're in like the steepest hill on your hike. And you're like, oh my God, my legs. Let me take a moment. I still have legs. Let's go. One more. One more hard one. Then every minute it gets easier, okay? You challenge yourself. Right here, right now. Taking it to the top of our hill in four, three, two, 12 on that incline, baby. Oh, squeeze those glutes. Big, big strides. Just keep breathing. You're like, ah, no, look, you're breathing in the mic rage. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Come on. It's different, right? Even if you're a runner and you try this, it's a different way to move your body. Keep it up. 30 seconds. How does your hill look? How does your view look? Enjoy it here. Enjoy it while you have it. Pretty sure my face looks like I'm in terror. <laughs> Let's go. You ready to take it down? 11 on that hill. You give me 10 seconds more. 10. Eight, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down, 11. Moment of relief. Every single minute, there's a new moment of relief. Keep going. Good, you're halfway through the workout. 15 minutes, not even. 13 minutes left. You go, you go, you go. Once we get back down to seven, okay? You're in the good zone again. We just gotta get back down to seven. We're at 11. 30 seconds. We take it to the 10. I want buns of steel after this. I'm break the paddle. Break it right in half. Let's go. Last 10. Last eight. We take it to that 10 on that incline. Four, three, two. Little moment of relief. We're still working here. We're not out of the danger zone yet. Stay focused, okay? Couple more minutes. Just think every minute gets a little bit easier. <clears throat> Are you happy you started this video? And you're like, the hell I'm not, Rachel. You got lost your damn mind. Yeah, it's all right. We lose it together, okay? Losing our minds. But how many people can say they did this workout and finished? You know, something to be proud of. We take it to the nine on the incline. We take it down. And another 10, eight, Six, five, four, three, two, nine on that incline. Couple more. You're like a couple more. There's nine more. There's like that level seven through 12 is hard. When we hit that seven through that four, you're like, oh, it's, you feel it challenging, but doable. And then the three, two, one, zero, you're like, ah. I could do that, and then it's gonna be your new norm. Walking on a three on the incline. <clears throat> Keep working. We go down to that eight. To that eight in 20 seconds. <sighs> Feel like you can start to breathe a little bit more, right? You can take bigger, deeper breaths. Yeah, that's it. Coming back down low, the air quality. It's better down here. Three, two, take it to your eight. Good. Little bit of relief. All right. Bam. Gotta wipe your mustache a little bit. Get a little sweaty. Guess what? After this, you have nine minutes left. 
That's it. All right. Keep swinging those arms. We take it to the seven. Seven. Oh, it's gonna feel like relief. I promise. Imagine. Just think about how stressed you were out at 12. Now look at you here at seven. What a difference, right? That was five minutes ago. Just a little bit of a hill creates a whole lot of change in your body. So if you get on the tread and you don't do these workouts and you just do your own thing, like you walk and go, change it up a little bit. Here we go. Take it to a seven, three, two, one. That's what my, the message I'm trying to say is like, you don't have to go in and sprint, right? Different things can be challenging. Kind of like when I used to coach rowing, right? That on the row machine. I always would say speed is not power. It's kind of like the same thing here. You're not moving fast, but you're moving efficiently up a hill, contracting and squeezing all of the muscles, staying focused, and it's a lot of work. All right, 30 seconds. We take it down to the six. And then we're halfway there. You only have six more. You guys feel nice? Got in a couple more, it'd be easier to just, you can see the water. You're like, you're looking at it, I'm like, I want you. I ain't ready. I need a little bit more of a flatter road before I tip it up. And I don't want to choke myself. There we go. Five, four, three, two, five on that incline. Taking it down. <clears throat> Keep going, guys. Did I miss one? Did we miss one? 21. Huh. I think we missed a hill. Okay, 10. Did I miss eight? Seven? All right, stay here. Just stay here. You're like, wait, why are you torturing me? Well, here's the thing. I am the queen of torture. Now grab some water. Stay here. Maybe I missed six. So stay here at five. But if you wanna go back up, all right? Hold tight for another minute. If you listen to me, if you listen to this, you write, okay? All right, we're in the easy part now. Four, three, two, and one. Four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds, we take it down. This is the home stretch now. Home stretch now, team. 20 seconds. Man, what a moment it is at the top of the hill. Like you're, you think you're not gonna survive. And now you're down here and you're like, what was I so stressed out about? 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two. Give me four on the incline. Good. We're almost there. It's getting a little bit easier. Option, I'm gonna pick up my pace a little bit now. Now it's a little easier to walk on that incline. Got a little left in the gas tank, you know? Always an option to increase your pace. Remember, it's 2540. You could adjust your pace to any of those, anything that works. But remember, it's still a workout, right? And we're not done yet. There will be a flat road and a cool down, but this ain't the moment. You got 30 seconds. We take it to that three on the incline. You have like just five minutes left of the whole entire workout. See? Goes back fast, I tell you. We go in 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, three on that incline. <clears throat> You gotta want it though. These are like the workouts, like I said, they're like mentally tough because you're just lingering into those, into your brain, 
until like you're just thinking like, oh my God, as it's increasingly getting harder, it's like you're challenging yourself. Like I know it's gonna get worse. I know it's gonna get harder. So you sit there in your brain and you're like, no, no, no. But that's like the opposite of the things you should be doing. You should be like, I accept you. Let's go. Turn down the incline now, I want 12. Let's keep wanting more. Keep pushing it. Laugh in the face of danger. Anybody know the movie? Huh? It's the Lion King. All right, we get ready. We take a two on the incline. Pace is still a two, five, four, oh. We take it down in five, in four, in three, two, one, two on the incline. Good, you only have two left. Two, one, zero. We're here. Enjoy it. <sighs> You're like, yeah, my feet are touching the ground again. Amazing. You guys, keep it up, keep it up. Last 30 seconds. Keep squeezing those glutes. The last one, I last incline. A little baby hill. You don't even feel it. You don't feel the one incline. A lot of times that when I even run, I to put it on a one. Usually your treads are a little too flat. You need a little incline. We you go, 10, eight, go one on the incline, and four, three, two, one on the incline. Last one here. We take it to our flat road after this, and then we take it to our cool down. So, you only have two minutes left after this one. You didn't think you could finish that. Like, just how incredibly proud are you? Because there is a moment where you do think you're not gonna make it, right? When I got to that 11, and I was like 12, and I went back to 11, I was like, whew, 11, 12, 11. I was like, that is some steep pills. My body, she's like, why are you doing this? But now she's like, oh, I understand. I love you too. <laughs> we take it to that flat road. Come on guys, be proud of yourself. Starts here, right? Starts with this 30 minutes, and then you do it again, and then your 30 turns into 35. Flat road, three, two, one. Your 35 minutes turns into 40. Then you go for a whole entire hour. Then you become addicted, right? You get addicted to this like a little endorphin tie because once you get off, you got like this little pick me up of joy. My kids love it. They love it. There is her, my um, daughter had a friend over the other day and they were reenacting the moms. They react the other mom wasn't so nice. Then my daughter reenacts me and she was like, Okay, team, bright and early, wake up everybody. Cause I always, I like work out early in the morning and then I go take them to school. And when I, I'm on my endorphin time, so I'm just like ready to go. Yes, could have been worse. I was like, you know what, that is me. I'll take that. That's what this does for you. It gives you a little pick me up. You'll know. Get ready. Two, five, three, five, our cool down. In five, in four, in three, two, one. Slow it down, you earn this cool down. Really take it to the bottom, right? Two, five, three, five. Right, if you were walking a little faster, just let your body take a moment. Bring it back into life. Notice that there are slower paces that we can walk at. Cause you get so accustomed to just, you didn't change your pace. You're accustomed to walking at that pace and like anything different feels, you're like, oh, it's really slow. Yeah. How you guys feel? I love this. I love this. I get so happy when we get the walking workouts. This is something different, you know? All right, 25 seconds. Remember to stretch. If you're new to running or walking, right? You're new to, to Ibex, make sure you stretch and hydrate, okay? You're gonna be a little tight, especially up those hills, tight on the hamstrings, tight on the glutes. So <clears throat> take a few minutes before you go to bed, stretch it out. All right, look down on that stop button. Let's hit it in five, four, three, two, what? This is Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel. This is our 30-minute summit walk. I'll see you next time.